Well, hello there and welcome to another video. Yes, the long awaited reveal and the joint making. So for this video, I tried really hard not to speed it up and um, show my process a little bit slower because I feel like most of you who started following me on this journey are very excited to see how I made the joints. But disclaimer, this is not a how-to. This is not a hobby for little kids because you use dangerous tools. I cut myself so many times. Just so you know, this is definitely an adult supervision hobby or for adults. I started out with the joints measuring and making the little lines, the guiding lines for the where I'm gonna cut in the slots. And I have this circle ruler that has little markings that I connected and then I just drilled little holes in it, made a few multiples in, in a line like so, and then I just cut it open. And that's what you basically do with all of the joints. You just have to figure out where to place them. Be careful that you don't accidentally squeeze apart the joints. Like here, I really have to be careful that I wouldn't break the little ankle joint apart. Oh, the most hard work though was really getting that aluminum foil out of it. But I managed and this is how it ended up looking. And this is basically the same thing that you do for the wrist as well, this little slot making. And um, no, I do not own a BJD. I only own a few rainbow highs and other dolls. And I mostly just did my research via Pinterest and watching unboxings and trying to get a feel for how the slots and the joints movement has to work. Here, for example, I tested out where it has to start, where it ends, and also that you don't see the slit in the front by the knee, so you have to be careful that you place it right. After removing all of the aluminum foil, you have to remember to drill holes in it. Um, I think this is how you do it. I, like I said, I'm, I'm no pro. This is just me working on this hobby the first time. But um, yeah, I used my biggest little drill that worked with the width of my little slots. Tried to drill a bigger hole and so that it's in the inside of the knee joint a little bit bigger to move my elastic through later on. Oh, the elbow, the vein of my existence. I kind of gave up on that little ugly peanut. Um, yeah, anyways, it worked at the end. So that's all I was asking for. But here again, same thing. I just measured the middle of it, made uh, or tried to put a straight line in it, figured out which length it should have. And just once again, cut in the little slots for it. had to get all of the beautiful <laughs> the aluminum foil out of it. It's such a pain, honestly, it's such a pain getting the aluminum foil out of those little tiny ball joints. And again, drilling a hole in it so that your elastic can actually move through the joint. And I was actually pretty happy with the movability at the end. The shoulder I sat at a little bit longer because I really had to figure out where to place the slot, but I for myself figured out to do it on the center top point of the shoulder ball and move it halfway down and I think that was the right decision. There are multiple ways of placing the slots. You can put X's, you can do squiggly lines, but after trying it I was pretty happy with it. And The waist 
joined was pretty easy. You just had to watch out that you don't make the hole too big because otherwise you would see the big gap when you move it around. I made it a, a slight oval to the sides so that it would move a little bit better when she wants to do like fun poses. So I saw this hack on the internet, someone was like, yeah, you can totally use acetone to get the dust and the stains out of polymer clay. I tried it, it just melted away my polymer clay and it was total fake news. I don't know, maybe there are different hacks, but it definitely did not work for me, but I wanted to try it anyways. For the hand and the ankle joints, I made little placeholder for magnets. I just placed magnets in it with super glue. You just had to watch out that you place the right magnets together. Other than that, it was really easy, even though my fingers were totally covered with super glue afterwards. I drilled a tiny hole through the wrist and I, because I sew a lot, I have these pin needles that I just cut to size, added a little bit of super glue where the hole, where the puncture is to keep it in place. Out of jewelry uh, wires, I made little S hooks that I hooked um, into the ankle and wrist joint at the end. And here is the fun string process it's technically not hard it's just very fumbly and it's just um, i use pipe cleaners to get through all the little smaller joint parts and it kept slipping out and it was just a hassle but it's actually not that hard well that's for today so yeah i see you next time when i reveal the doll just kidding here's the reveal
da 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 there she is oh, I love her she's so cute I am so happy I'm so happy I not expect her to turn out this well when I started out on creating my own BJD and I am I'm pleased I'm I'm, I'm and I'm 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 gonna toot my horn a little bit I'm proud of myself yes because this was it was a lot of work it was hard work and she's not perfect oh no she's not perfect yet she she's asymmetrical she still needs to be polished she still needs her face up she needs wigs she needs clothing I love her she's my baby and I don't I don't care if you don't like her I love her and that's the most important part and I'm very proud of how I ended up giving her all of the articulation and how she's able to move even though she can't keep her legs up and whatever but she's my first doll thank you so much for making it to the end of this video we are so stoked that you made it so far we hope to see you in the next video next video she's gonna get some clothing and stuff Bye, have a great day, have a great week, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.